Now here in video three, what you will want to do is bring up your Excel workbook, unit pricing for video two, set that on one half of the screen, and then there is a link at Google Classroom for the junior high unit pricing quiz. And so what we will do is I'll show you how to do a few of these, answering the questions and doing some calculations here in your Excel workbook and at the same time utilizing this workbook to determine what the correct answer would be. Let's go ahead and get started with question one. Looks like there's no calculations required, but we need to understand the definition, the formula for calculating unit price. The formula to find the unit price of an item is, well, we're going to divide. We want to divide the units into the cost or into the price. We'll use those words interchangeably, price and cost meaning the same thing as how much we pay for something. So we're going to take how much we pay for something and divide it by how many particular units are part of that product, whether it be pounds, ounces, or it could be just one each, each item. So that's going to be a division, and that's going to be the cost or the price divided by the number of units. And so over here in your answer then for problem one, we could just come directly over to answer, and it would be price divided by units. Let's do another one. Two. Unit pricing is one of the best tools a consumer can use for comparison shopping. So you're, you're trying to decide what's the best buy. There's lots of different sizes of products, different boxes of cereal or of different sizes, different prices. How do you know which one is the best deal? And the way you know is by unit pricing. How much per ounce? How much per pound? Whatever it happens to be. So here, is that true? Yes, it is. That's very true. So we'll type true in there. Okay, now in three, we can actually do some calculations here. What's the better buy? Uh, $1.32 for 12 ounces or spend $1.49 for 16 ounces. Now, in order to do this, we're going to have to do some arithmetic. We're going to have to apply the unit pricing formula, which is the price divided by the number of units. So in this case here, we have $1.32 for 12 ounces. So we need to do that division. So let's go over here to problem three, calculation one, equal sign, $1.32 forward slash to divide by 12. Well, that gives us 11 cents per ounce. 11 cents. 0.11 is 11 cents per ounce. The next one we have, our other option is $1.49 divided by 16 ounces. And if we were to round this by clicking right here to reduce the number of decimal places, that is 9 cents per ounce. Which one would you like to buy? That's right, nine cents is less than 11 cents. So this one is the better value, the better deal. So your answer then would be the $1.49. And so here in your test, then you'd make the correct selection to answer that question. So 1.49 is the correct answer. That's the better deal. Do one more and then you can finish these on your own. Question four. What's the better buy? $2.99 for 32 ounces or 85 cents for 6 ounces. So once again, let's do calculation 1. Equal sign, $2.99 divided by 32 ounces or 85 cents, 0.85, divided by 6 ounces. And once again, I can select both of these and I could either decrease the decimal places or a little bit of a shortcut here. Just go ahead and click the dollar sign. See, we could do that for that one too. There you go. Now it looks more like money. So the first deal, $2.99 for 32 ounces, 9 cents per ounce, or the smaller package, 85 cents for 6 ounces. Clearly, this one is a better deal when looking at the unit price. Only 9 cents per ounce here. It's 14 cents per ounce like five cents more per ounce. So if we want this one, this $2.99 is the better deal. 
we want that 299 package. And so once again, you pick the correct answer there. And so for the rest of these, go ahead on your own and answer the rest of the questions. And then when you finish, have me come by and take a look at your unit pricing for video three. And then I will have a report of how you did here on the quizzes. And once again, be sure to ask any questions that you may have.